Well, good morning, everybody, from a very snowy Nuke, Greenland. It is absolutely disgusting outside. This is, without a doubt, the worst weather that I've experienced since my time in Nunavut. Really foggy out. I'm actually worried that I'm not going to be able to fly out of Nuuk tomorrow because the weather is supposed to get worse. So I might be stranded here for a few days. I'm not sure. It's going to be a slippery one out there and I'm probably going to have to take a couple taxis today because my sightseeing is in jeopardy if I can't navigate these icy streets. In any case, I've really enjoyed my time lingering in the mornings here at the Airbnb. It's a beautiful property. So this is my little bedroom, the room that I'm renting. So again, this private room was... 66 Canadian dollars or about 50 bucks US. And this is the beautiful common space, I suppose. This is their living room, which is really gorgeous. They have lots of different Greenlandic art. They have a seal skin, so it's pretty cozy. And over here, you can see the view out the window today. He has an amazing view. And I love that clock. That's so cool in the shape of Greenland. You know, it's not going to ever be a hotel or anything like that because you don't have your own privacy and so forth. But, you know, this is a comfortable space and reasonable price. And it's cool to actually stay with a family that lives here and learn a little bit about the community and the, what it's like to live here in Greenland. So, yeah, I'm impressed. All right. If you're traveling around Denmark and especially Greenland, you'll see signs for this pop, Fasha Kondi. I have no idea what it is. People seem to love it. I'm guessing it's maybe a Sprite. I don't know. I have no idea what it tastes like and I've chosen to not Google it because I don't want to ruin the surprise. So here goes nothing. All right, I'm heading into Cafe Pascucci. Well, this place is busy. Oh my goodness, it is so packed. These are the only tables left out of literally probably dozens. So I got myself a smoked salmon bagel and a coffee, and that was 23 Canadian dollars. It's expensive in Denmark. All right, I'm gonna tuck into what is likely the prettiest coffee I've had here in Greenland so far, here at Pascucci's. This is their flat white. You can see pretty amazing latte art here. And my smoked salmon bagel has arrived. I am outside of the Anori Art Center. I'm gonna pop in and see what they have. So you can see they have some really intricate carvings. Beautiful, a little bit different style than Nunavut. And they can range anywhere from, you know, less than $100 to upwards of thousands. Very talented carvers. Beautiful pottery here. And really cool dolls. These are showing the traditional dress of Greenland here. Those patterned sweaters are very common theme here in Greenland. You don't see that in none of it hardly at all. So you can see some of the intricate carvings here in this private collection. They're not for sale. And these kind of strange looking ones, they're unique to Greenland. I've never seen that in none of it. Kind of like folklore, I think. All right, as you can see, the snow is definitely coming down now. Pretty low visibility. I'd be really shocked if I make it out tomorrow, given the weather. So that's not good. At least my flight home to Canada doesn't leave for another week. Winter is definitely creeping in here on October. What is it, the 26th today? Definitely a good time of year to come though, I would say. It gives you a balance of fall and winter. All right, I made it down to the bottom of the hill and I'm here in Old Town, Newark. This is where you're gonna find some of the city's oldest buildings, including the old church, the Church of Our Savior, which is just around the corner there. Very colorful. It is a little bit hard to enjoy with the blast of snow that's just moved in. I'm glad I got travel insurance for that flight tomorrow. It's definitely coming down. And on the very top of that cliff there is a statue of, I believe his name is Hans Egad or Egade, who was a Danish missionary, a Lutheran missionary who basically brought Christianity to Greenland. But what a dreary and lousy day weather-wise. I'm gonna try to make the best of it, but it's pretty bad out here, folks. Like, the snow is unrelenting. This is the Church of Our Savior, founded in the early to mid 1800s. Beautiful old structure next door as well. So this would have been founded at the time that Nook was known as Gotop, Danish name for the city, which was changed again in the early 1970s. So this cobblestone path from the church will take me directly down there to try to track down the statue of Sedna, 
which is a mythological being from Inuit folklore. And there's a statue of her called the Mother of the Sea down here by the water. So it's definitely a really lovely coastline here in Nuuk on the west side of town. Right there is the Mother of the Sea statue of Sedna. So Sedna again is a character from Inuit folklore and mythology. So that statue illustrates that legend. So you know you're in Inuit country when you see this many kayaks. So plenty of kayaks here on the shoreline all docked for winter. Very cool though. I'd love to get on the water if it wasn't so cold. So you can see down there some amazing blue icebergs along the coast. Crazy to see how rich the blue is. I've never seen an iceberg that blue before apart from like a glacial cruise. So you can see that these are some of the oldest houses in Nuuk. This one here looks so dated, creamy yellow colored. I'm not sure how old this building is, but you can tell it is pretty historic. I would say turn of the 20th century or late 1800s. This old antique equipment. And this is Hans Ige de Vig. But boy, it's a larger area than you'd think, actually. Another staircase here to head up to downtown. This staircase should take me directly outside of my Airbnb, so wish I'd known about this one earlier. But that is Newark Old Town. Definitely worth a visit if you can brave the sleet and snow. All right, I am heading back down here to Newark Center Mall where I'm gonna get lunch at Bones, which is an American themed restaurant, but they do have Greenlandic country food. It's a pretty decent menu. Muskox reindeer, barbecue chicken. All right, my food has arrived. I ordered the muskox steak, which I don't think I've ever had a muskox steak before. I've only had it ground, so this is gonna be new. Fries and the unlimited salad bar, which is included. All that you see here was just about oh, 120 or so Danish crown, so just a under, let's say $22 or $21 Canadian. Slightly gamey flavor, not too strong. It's not as strong as, let's say, uh, caribou. It's very similar to bison, I would say. Very good. Take a look at that coastline now. All the snow-capped peaks in the distance. The other side of the shoreline is just covered in snow. Gorgeous setting tonight. The sunset really does creep up on you here. If you're not careful and you're not paying attention to the time, you realize that the sun is going to go down in like 20, 30 minutes. I didn't get to see too much in the old town because I was constantly changing camera equipment and everything else. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes to make sure that these cameras work properly and which one I'm using and so forth. So I was distracted by a lot of that. I spent a lot of time in the gift shop looking for gifts for myself and also for my girlfriend and so forth. Tomorrow I'm gonna have an early start, have a good half day here. My flight's not till 4.30 or so in the afternoon, so I have some time to poke around Nook still, but I don't feel like I have really grasped the community yet. I haven't really, you know, I haven't really done much yet. It feels like that at least, and I'm almost leaving. Something's gotta give. I gotta have a bit more of a cultural experience, but it is what it is.